السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم آف اللہ دا موسٹ گریشیس دا موسٹ مرسیفو ان ڈیڈ دا گریٹسٹ ورڈ ان ایگزسٹنس از دا ورڈ آف اللہ دیر از نتھنگ مور پاورفل دین دا ورڈ آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی دا قرآن ان نحن نزلنا الذکر و ان له لحافظون ان ڈیڈ وی ہیو ریویلڈ دس قرآن دس ریمائنڈر اینڈ وی ول پروٹیکٹ اٹ That's what Allah says. So Allah will protect this book from change. He will protect it from all sorts of negativity, from harm, from those who intend to desecrate it, etc. Allah will protect this book in every way. So when Allah says, I will protect this book, any human being who has made an effort to protect the book will be looked after by Allah as a person who is looking after the book. So if you've memorized the Quran and put it in your heart, you will be a hafiz a hafiz means a person who has memorized the quran but hafiza means to protect okay initially hafiza means to protect to look after so you have protected or looked after the quran as a result allah will protect you because he has to protect you the quran is inside of you subhanallah it's in your heart and your mind May Allah grant us an understanding. So I want to call on one and all to make a little effort to try to memorize this Quran, even if it means chapter by chapter, verse by verse, page by page, whatever it may be. Let's listen to the recital repeatedly so that we can actually memorize the verses. The Quran is so beautiful. You listen to it a few times and you've already memorized. Even little children, instead of getting them used to all the songs on earth that might be immoral and, uh, you know, void of values and morals, we'd rather replace that from a very early age with melodious recitation of the Quran. You don't know how long the child is going to live and you don't know how long you're going to live. So we'd rather pack away good rewards for ourselves and for our children by teaching them the right thing, steering and guiding them towards the right thing from a very early age. This is the word of Allah. So when your child is young and as the child is growing, instead of playing Like I just said now, that the songs and the musical items that perhaps are of low morals and values, which the children pick up and they begin to sing from a very early age. In fact, even the movements of their bodies, they learn them from a very young age. Wouldn't it be befitting for the word of Allah that we started with something like the word of Allah in a way that their whole life will be steered in the right direction? So consider what I've just said. It's very important. It's a very strong point. If you can make it a habit to replace all that, that which is not in the pleasure of Allah with the Quran, the Quranic recital, something good, maybe a good speech, a good lecture. Trust me, your children from a very early age of even below the age of one, you know, even below one, they will start picking up some of these words and at a time they will pick up the verses and the surahs and they will memorize pages and pages. I did it when I was little. And subhanAllah, here we are telling the same thing to us Reminding us in my age group, for example, those who have children, those who have responsibilities, let's do the right thing. The importance of the Quran. This is the month of the Quran. شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن. The month of Ramadan in which the Quran was revealed. Ma sha Allah, ma sha Allah. My brothers and sisters, these are a few words I thought I'd share with you during this month of Ramadan regarding the importance of the memorization of the Quran and how to be able to achieve it. I've just mentioned one point about memorizing. Allah will protect you as a result of you having made an effort to protect his word. Subhanallah, isn't that enough? And then on the day of judgment, you are called out, you know, uh, where are the people of the Quran? Ahlullahi wa khasatuhu, the, the VIPs of Allah, the special guests of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala on that day. You looked after the Quran, you read it, you recited it melodiously, you corrected the recitation, you looked into the meanings, you learned the meanings, you understood, you, you meaning you made an effort to understand, you put into practice as best as you could, and guess what? You taught it. To others and when you teach others it's a sadaqa jariya so i taught someone who taught someone who taught someone who taught someone every single person in the whole line including the one who taught me and the one who taught that person and the one who taught the one who taught me would all get a full complete reward it is so tremendous it's difficult to even perceive but allah knows he says i'll keep it for you 
and you watch, you will never regret it. So in the same way you teach someone bad and they continue teaching others bad and bad because you were a source of it, you get a sin for all of their sins. When you do good, it's the opposite. Alhamdulillah. May Allah protect us all and grant us from that goodness. May Allah open our doors. My brothers and sisters, similarly the Quran, al Quran hujjatul laka aw alayh. Quran will come and bear witness for you or against you. When you read it beautifully and you have a good relationship with it, it will bear witness for you. When you have a terrible relationship with the Quran, hmm, it will bear witness against you. So my brothers and sisters, we need to change that. We need to make sure that we have utilize the short lifespan that we have to do the right things it's enough enough of the bad enough of evil quit it leave it may allah grant us a sense of responsibility my brothers and sisters it really pains us to see what's going on across the globe but what we do know is let's seize this opportunity to get closer to allah you never regret that you can never regret abandoning the bad and adopting the good Allah make it easy for all of us. Aqulu qawli hadha wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.